All right. So this is a uh, test video to see how well I've got everything set up and volume levels and that sort of stuff. So we'll see if we can play one game here. So just to keep audio levels going. Uh, oh, my little screen fell down there. There we go. Oh. Interested to hear how loud Shorty's barking was out there. Okay. Where are we at? Schedule. It's the 15th. We've got a match on the 18th. What's our squad look like? Do the screen here a little bit. Um, Pedro. All right, we have kind of our offensive group in. Who are we playing next? Genoa. Whoops, they're third. Polo's a better defensive player, so we're going to stick him in. Otherwise, I think we're going to put Montero in as well. Give him some more experience. Now, I expect this team to be better than us, to be honest. So I think we're going to play a little bit more defensive than I did. Well, let's see, defend, 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 support, defend, support. Got a couple attacks. Gosh, only attacks. <sighs> Poacher only attacks. We're going to try a false nine support just to give us a little bit, dial back the attackiness just a little bit. I need to keep my chair here, I guess, so I don't um, rotate out of camera view too much. Okay, I think that's fine. We're going to go back up to flexible. Uh, we need to maybe. I think we'll start, well, let's start on defense, and then we'll kind of work our way up from there. So we'll go for a little bit more of a faster counterattacking, hopefully, and get guys into uh, Do some finishing. What's Simon's heading? Eh, we won't do anything fancy with the crosses. All right, skip forward a couple days here. Focus of attack, left wing. Not really. Who is their left wing? I don't really have one. Are they bringing this guy up, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. I guess it's just this guy. Oh, it's our guy. We had him. We traded him away. Look at that. And he's very good with the heading. 
Not quite sure who they have thrown the crosses into them, though. Running three strikers up front like that. Now, see, we had him. And these numbers look great, but it never really translated into anything. He missed a lot of shots for us. Let's see. So last season he had 18 appearances. He had three goals. See, his average wasn't very good. Can we look down here? Three goals. Didn't get penalized. Player of the match once. Shots on target. 45. I don't know. It seems like that was... Passing was good. I don't know. It just never worked. Beats me. Copper found an airplane. She chases contrails. And Shorty's just backing her up because he has no idea what she's barking at. There he is. What are you doing, Shorty? We're well, not supposed to look away. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. you doing, huh? What are you doing? Kisses. Oh, good boy. Okay, hop down. Good boy. What is your reaction to Roberto Stallone making, marking out Andrea as the weak link? My goalie? I think he's losing the plot there. Do you perhaps, if we feel has misread your team? Oh, I'm not going to become complacent. This is last May Genoa took place at Luigo. Luigi Ferraris and finished 0 3. What do you make of chances in this match? Luigi Ferrari sounds like a A bad, expensive Italian restaurant. If we perform as we can, we can win. Genoa's uh, opposition scoreless in the last six games, Joe. That doesn't bode well for me because uh, that's okay. We'll see how it goes. I think we started Polo, so we're going to leave him out of that. Everybody else here, uh, Giuseppe's probably not going to play. Alberto's probably not going to play. Spurdon might get some time. Let's knock him down to, he's not probably going to get a lot. Let's knock him down to 60 minutes for tomorrow in case he does get some time in. Uh, I hope Pietro doesn't play. Uh, Carlo might play, but it's probably not going to be more than 10 or 15 minutes, so we'll let him... Oh, he's already set for 45. Let's knock that up to maybe 60. There we go. All right. Now Shorty's just barking because we haven't talked about him for a while. Uh, oh, five a match. Okay, so we probably don't want to go hard in this one. We might want to back off a little bit. Um, 
He's mostly 4-4-2. Successfully, he's had a little bit of trouble with a 3-4-1-2. So maybe our let's see what does it say? Whoops. What does it say about us? Uh Mama Doo's out. Yeah, well, we can live with that. Let's see what our detailed report is. I use everything. <laughs> we didn't have a lot of success with a 442 though, which is why I've used everything. Probably because we're just not that good. Three five. This is probably what we're running right now. That'd be my guess. That's that's probably what they're calling it. Oh, we got whooped wide. Oh well, diamond wide got us, but regular didn't. Maybe it's just that extra, those extra strikers. Doing okay against the four four two. <coughs> And we won last one. We're doing okay. Let's see. Pictures. Okay. So right now we're in fifth. And Genoa is in third. They've won three. Had a couple draws. All right. Good enough. Submit team. Let's see what we got. Oh, he puts it down as a draw. I think he's being... um being kind to us there, being a little gentle. See, Jenna will be hoping to put together a strong run of early season form. Uh, and we're just looking to barely win. That's not what he says, but... Beatrice Cicerone, only got five goals in the last seven. I th yeah, I have him in. Um, Slobodan Reykjavik. Genoa CFC is not allowed a goal, and the Genoa captain has been in the squad. So... Their, their captain hasn't allowed any goals. <laughs> We've allowed almost one a match. That doesn't bode well for us. I guess that's going to average out to uh, one nothing them, right? Uh, Gabriel has a fairly lengthy run without conceding a goal. Uh, I hope we do okay. Both teams come into this in good form. Uh, they're a good team. Let's see, they're a good team, and we're going to relish the challenge of keeping our good form going whilst putting a dent in their aspirations. I don't think I'd use the word whilst or whilst. Let's see, how much of a boost is Ludovico Diarazio, Dio, uh, Diarazio's absence? It's your chance of winning. Uh, anybody will miss him, but they've got good players, and they do. Oh, this is different than what it showed us on that other screen. So they had the three forwards up there in the preview. They've still got Skamaka up there, and Kravitz um, will want to do something about. Uh, we're going, well, let's see what their advice is. Put everybody on a weaker foot. I think we'll tighter mark him. Um, who's got their assists? Oops, that's not what I'm looking for. Six appearances. Nothing to speak of. Uh, oh, I guess the guy that's injured was the uh, was that third striker probably, and he's probably the one getting the assists. I think we'll just go with this. Put a few people on the weaker foot. Marcus Kamakia. I wanted to nickname Scaramanga. But I, I never remember to put it in there. All right. Overall, let's see. Expected to pick up where they left off. Okay. Well, uh... Ran. One pick up where you left off. Let's give it a try. Eh, a little bit of green. Uh, maybe our mids could use a little extra. I have faith in you. There we go. Got a little bit more. <clears throat> yeah, we got this one. Uh, 
let's go somewhere around there. See how that works. Why would you turn it way down here so you don't have to listen to it twice? See how that works. I don't see where he's got the headphones. Holy crap, is that us? Back to uh, Cicerone, Cicini, Pedro. Some nice passing there. Back to Verna. Oh, Polo on the side. Get the cross. Oh, and we're not able to. No. Uh, it's Melly. Can't tell it's Melly. Melly. Comes up with the grab. Where's John Pears? No, I think we're fine. We have 55% possession. We've got the shot so far. I haven't seen any sense of change that at the moment. I like the slightly longer passing when I play this counterattack. Sure, it makes it a little more challenging to get out of your zone, but it really helps on the transition. Oh, there we go! Oh, Conte up! Oh! Oh! In effect, the post just the side of the net. I have the volume turned too low for me to afford that. I don't think so. It seems to be working so far. There we go. Valentini gets the intercept. Off to the right, the polo takes it down the side. Is he going to go across the middle? Oh, and he holds up to wait. Spielman fills in. Off to Sashini. Oh, and Conte had his break in, but he couldn't quite run to him. Scaramanka, the villain. And we hit it out. Oh, 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 oh. oh, we got lucky on that. I just want to get a couple of them. I think I'll take it. And yeah, he just boots it over the net and I'm going to go up the rest of the stadium. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to on this one. We know he's out of position. We took Conte in as a loaner. He is super fast, but he's never played one before. Oh, go! Sia Doni! I don't know. My Italian is, is non existent. Everybody had to come in to see what I'm yelling at. There's the replay. Oh, bottom corner. Goalie can't get there. We'll take it. 1 0. It's busy. Oh, that was so pretty, but unfortunately, somebody was back there. It would be nice if I could have passed that. The defensive screen there. Right they got the cross, they put it over, Polo hits it out. He's in there for his defense and he's actually pretty good in the way. Uh, the other option is uh, one of the options. Uh, well, playing okay. Montero's not having a spectacular game, um, but he's also just been in the position. He's a defensive midfielder, which just has great defensive stats. So we're stuck in the back there. Oh, he missed the cross. Oh, good shot. Got the deflected cross, put it on that. Goalie came back with it. Uh, we'll probably swap Montero back out for the starter. Uh, the regular starter at halftime. We're just trying to give him some more time. Yeah, that was a little bit. Um, I guess he, he felt the clock ticking down. There we go, halftime. Uh, everybody seems to be looking good. Uh, Marco hasn't played horrible, but you know what? We're gonna, we are gonna put Virgil, uh, Virgilito in. Everybody else is good. And that's just to kind of, you know what? I think maybe. Marco's better in the air, I think. Let's see. Uh, heading 16. Oh, he's got no jump in reach. He's great at heading. He just only jumps half an inch. Um, what's Virgilito look like? Uh, his heading's only 11. His jumping reach is 8. 
a little more strength to control, a little more pace. Let's do a quick comparison, see who I want to, whoops. Pair with Montero. Uh, Montero's a little bit more well-rounded. Virgilio's got a little bit more speed. Defending's the same. Serial's not quite as good as technical's not as good, but it's got better vision. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put Virgilito in as I don't want to call him a defensive sub, but he's got a little bit more speed, so he's less likely to get burned coming back if they if they bust out on a counterattack. At least that's my theory. Um Today's about the supporters. Screw the supporters. This is about a win. Um let's get passionate. Capable of even better. That's what we're going to say. Now let's go look at our tactics here, our instructions. Um, I think we're going to sit deeper yet. And I think that's it. Okay, we'll play a little bit more defensive this half. Try to hang on to that one goal lead. In the past, I've lost a lot of matches that I, you know, I come back and I screw that. See what I was talking about? I only misses it. We got so lucky. I lost two goals. Um, at the ends of games, they were both two minutes. both had two minutes of injury time. Um, I lost one of them at 92:35 and the other one at 92:43. So well past the two minutes of expected injury time. I'm so frustrated. Oh, there we go! Pedro. Yes, he's a he's a pickup for us this match or this season. Um, he's a new transfer. As is Sacchino, because we just couldn't finish. We couldn't score goals last season, so we had to make an update. Uh, we had two matches again last season where we put uh, had two different games where I had flurries where we put uh, three shots off the post within the same play. Uh, and a bunch of misplayed uh, rebounds, you know, the, the goalie mis wasn't able to control and it just rolled back out into the middle. And some of those shots, I swear, they bent the laws of physics to miss. And I just, you know, some of them made 90 degree turns and then looped back around the back and ended up popping that side of the line. Right and he's passing. Oh, that's got him there. Oh, it's passing. Oh, it's Collins there. So I put him whatever his name is. I need to give him a nickname. I thought he was the weak link, but he's been okay so far. He hasn't faced a lot of shots there. One on target shot. I think that was probably it. But a clear cut chance, which that one probably was, and that one had a chance. So, you know, it's pretty even as far as that goes. We had four on target, and three of those were half chances. It is playing pretty good still. The Joe got a yellow card. I think I haven't sat his card on the midfield, so that's not. He's going to get you guys. <clears throat> He's going to attack a lot. We, we already saw that this ref is likely to pass his stuff. So we might. Oh, there we go. A big flurry from him. We might swap him out here. 65 or so. Let's see how it goes. I don't know if they're pushing harder because we are running back a little deeper this, this uh, half. Or if we're just, it's a good thing we're running back deeper because we're pushing harder. Uh, anyway, they haven't broken yet. Ante makes the run. Oh, there we go! I think Sacchini had the finish on that. We'll take it. Insurance goal, 3 0. Man, there's nothing worse than a 2 0. Well, okay, so there's things worse than a 2 0 lead. But there's no. Um, no less securely, I would say, than a 2 0 lead because. You know, it's just enough that people start to let their guard down and then people sneak back into games and bang down and they get tired and then they have a lot of goals. And the third goal makes a huge difference. It means in about 65 minutes, I think I'm going to be confident to make another sub. Oh, how did that not go in? It looked like it bounced out of the inside. Oh my gosh. Let's see, hold on. Can we, can we roll that back? I've never tried to do this before. Let's uh, pause it and change the camera angle. Uh, zoomed to 
Behind goal. Behind goal low, maybe. it in the corner there. It's, it's like bottom left. Oh no, just right down the middle. I take it back. Oh my gosh, what a game. What a game. We're up 4 nothing. Oh, we need to do some subs. It's 75 minutes. I meant to do these a couple minutes ago. Uh, who's wiped out? Uh, we'll flip it the other way. Okay, there we go. Uh, so Donny's played great. He's got a goal. Um, I think we'll put uh, Samtech in. He's um, one of our young guys. We're trying to get a bunch more playing experience too. Uh, who else did I say I wanted to put in? Uh, he's two already. Pedro's got two goals. He's playing great. He's playing good. Man, everybody's just playing so good. I don't really want to swap anybody too much. Um, we do have another young kid. We're trying to get some experience here um, at advanced midfield. Um, here, let's change this. He doesn't play this at all, so he never shows up. There we go. There we go. I'll better do. Okay. Um, you know what? We're going to put our wingers back on support. We're going to back him off a little bit. Um, there's really no point in firm changes. Yes. Play. Oh, 
another shot on the line. What do we end up with? 18 shots, seven on target, one clear cut, three half chances. I think we can tell the boys we're happy with that. I think we can passionately tell them we're happy with that. And the result. That was well done, boys. All right, we'll take it. We did we did pick up a couple yellows. They picked up a couple yellows. Uh, the ref had a good game, 8.7. He did really well. He, he played to form. Um, so, yeah, I think we did okay. Let's see. Our key players. Cicerone, pass completion 89. Our guy didn't give up a goal. Their guy did. I think we'll take that. We screwed up that. We screwed up that record. They won't be able to say that next match. All right, and that puts us up in second. Leave the match. Little po oh, what does it say here? Genoa hammered by Spezia. Genoa's match against Spezia will, will have been a moment. Genoa's Gianluca Scamacca will want to forget as he suffered defeat at the hands of his former club. Well, in the same way, he just he couldn't score for me last season. And, and they didn't get any goals this season. Well, this game out of him. You know, all those numbers, they, they just don't add up to what I think they should add up to. And uh, I, was, I was gutted that nothing happened out of him. We sold him. We made a profit. I think we bought him for 875. We sold him for 975. No, I take it back. We broke even because we had to pay a loyalty bonus that came out to 100. So I think I, think I bumped it up so we'd break even on him. We got a season out of him. But like I say, what did, what was it? Three goals or something like that. It just it wasn't what a guy that's worth you know three quarters to you know a million dollars um, should do with with the numbers he has. So um, he, he paid true to form, unfortunately. Um, but it makes me happy that we swapped him out. Uh, and uh, among others, we got we got Pedro um, was one of those replacements. Uh, he's an advanced forward. Um, but, you know, he got three goals, and Sacchini, who is as a replacement as the striker, uh, he got a goal, too. Uh, and he's been amazing. Um, let's see if we can look here. So here's Skamaka. And like I say, um, for our level, um, we're in uh, the Italian Serie B uh, series. Uh, this is pretty good. You know, kind of solid is kind of right here on the outside of, the, of this yellow. And when we start getting into the green, that's pretty good. And he's almost all the way around. And he's, you know, aerial, he's deep, and he's a target man. And it may be that we just didn't have the right um, wingers to get those those headers into him. It's entirely possible. Um, it may have been our fault. We just may not have had the team to support him. But, you know, first touch of 14, finishing of 13, composure of 14, heading of 15, you know, good determination and flair. Excuse me, vision's okay. Off the ball, it's 11, it's, you know, on the green. His physicals are all decent. Jumping reach of 15, strength of 17, so he gets in there and he doesn't get pushed around too much. Um, you know, 6'5", 200 pounds, he's a big boy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I liked him a lot, and it just didn't just didn't happen. So let's do see if we can do a comparison um, with Sanchini here. Um And you can see here, here's the difference in the aerial. You know, otherwise they're pretty similar. Uh, Sacchini's a little bit better defending. And, you know, his technical and attack's a little bit better. Uh, you know, this is the big difference. You know, we traded this, this huge aerial numbers, which never worked for us, for a little bit better finishing. Um, but it's worked. So, say la vie. Press conference. Let's see. It says he rank among the lowest teams in the league for fouls and cards awarded, which has some lead praise to the perceived clean. That's right. I demand that my team, my play, my players play clean. That's just pure luck. Um, we don't get stuck in very much. We don't do a lot of, uh, I don't believe in um, focused uh, marking for a lot of stuff like that. So we don't, we don't really target people because mostly I think it pulls people out of their position. Um, and a lot of the guys that really need to be marked, they're so fast that we just don't have the speed. My defenders are not quick. Um, you know, we don't have the acceleration. We don't have the pace to run with these guys. So all that does is mean we get left in the dust and they blow past us. So we're a lot better off using our positioning and, and sit back and mind your position, play your gaps, you know, all that sort of stuff. You know, uh, I watch mostly NFL. So, you know, you want those linemen to stick in their gaps, you know. Uh, same, same type of deal. So 
because of that, I think we uh, – I'm coaching an Italian league. I have to touch with my hands now, right? Um, because of that, we have to stay where – stay back, and we don't get a lot of penalties. Uh, so it's not any uh, – it's not on purpose. It's just a happy um, corollary to the way we play the game. Uh, happy because it means our players are less likely to be unavailable, which in terms of we have a stronger pitch. Um, yeah. Uh, Substituting Pedro when he was on a hat trick raised some eyebrows today. Uh, felt confident the team was won. Uh, the game was won. We have important matches up that Pedro needs to be fresh for. I have to ask him. He should be happy with the team won, and that's what matters, not individuals. Oh. This is really... I mean, you guys saw it. This is really the answer. I mean, that's why we did it. We're just trying to get the young guy and get some experience. I didn't even notice um, the hat. Oh, well, wait, didn't he get a hat? I think he got he got a hat trick, so. Um, he got his hat trick. I mean, if I would have pulled him out with two goals and he was just been firing it in left and right and I pulled it and stole that, no, that would have been bad. But I think this is what we'll go for. But I like this. This is the... Um, uh, This is like the hard-nosed coach right here, right? I like that answer. I like, you know, the teams I watch, I want this to be what the coach says. But this is this is what the answer was. This was me. Uh, say a particular final score was in the cards would be an exaggeration. Uh, it's a good thing when everything comes together. Conte plays left midfielder last time out. Uh, he played that every single position since I've done it. Um, happy to play there, and that's where I want him. Just managed to extend your unbeaten run, and the side looks almost invincible right now. We're going to get our ass kicked by a crappy team here soon. That's what's going to happen. It'll be like the number 20 team is just going to come in and stomp us into the ground. Uh, these things can't last forever, and I don't want people to overreact when the run does come to an end. All right, Series B roundup for the day. Look at that. We were the key match. Game of the day. Best Best virgin, best viewing is to be found at Luigi Ferrari's Italian restaurant and stadium entertainment center where a crowd of 19,000, 19,000 witnessed Bezia's convincing 4-0 victory over Genoa. There we go. Bezia are currently on a five-match unbeaten. Elsewhere, some other teams played. We don't care about them, but look at us. There we are. Seven gold... Uh, Goal differential now. Pedro's on fire. Oh, he did only have the two goals. Okay, I was a dick. It happens. That's okay, we'll praise him. He was great. Superb in front of the uh, number and quality of chances. Passing was a joy. This is This was all about the goals. All about the goals. And we remain beaten. And there we go. That's a save and a wrap. We'll see how this looks when we uh, we get it up. Uh, I can't think anymore. We'll take a look at it, edit it. Probably not going to be much editing. And then uh, maybe it'll go up, maybe it won't. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. Anyway, if it goes up and you're watching this, thank you. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, there'll probably be a bunch more Football Manager 17 coming up because I'm addicted. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Ciao.